Uh, if not, uh, we would now like to start uh, the explanation meeting uh, for the 2015 midterm uh, management plan progress and prospects. Uh, let me introduce uh, the uh, speakers for today, Hiroaki Nakanishi, Chairman and CEO of Hitachi Limited, uh, Toshiaki Higashihara, President and COO. I would like to ask uh, Mr. Nakanishi to start. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for attending our a meeting uh, uh, on the progress and prospects of the uh, midterm management plan as well as the uh, announcement uh, of the results. Thank you very much uh, indeed for your participation. Now, regarding the 2015 midterm management plan uh, is being uh, targeted for this year. and. Yeah, this 2015 will be the last year for this current uh, midterm management plan. How we are going to uh, complete uh, this year uh, is uh, receiving uh, significant uh, interest from all of you. And within our company as well, for the group overall, uh, it will determine uh, the future of our, our group. Uh, uh, that is the determination uh, with which we are pursuing this plan. The business challenges uh, at the center uh, is uh, the uh, social innovation business. Uh, this was not a familiar term in the beginning, uh, but uh, we had the midterm plan targeting 2012 and uh, uh, the midterm plan targeting 2015 uh, as well, uh, based on uh, this uh, uh, topic. And therefore, we have been following this uh, for the over five years. And now uh, we are defining this uh, to be the uh, edge of uh, Hitachi Limited. Uh, but uh, frankly speaking, over the past five years, in many ways, uh, we have been uh, encountering challenges. Uh, first and foremost, uh, in terms of development uh, of uh, our customer base, uh, we have been pursuing this uh, uh, business uh, in Japan. This is our background. And in Japan, we have been led by customers. Uh, that has been the way we have been pursuing business. But uh, n now that we have global aspirations, uh, it is incumbent upon us to lead uh, the customers, which is different to what we have been used to in Japan. So development uh, of the customer base uh, has been the first and foremost challenge for us. Now, engineering is also an important challenge in this regard. Uh, we would like to work with the customers in terms of engineering, uh, inclusive of the finance uh, plan as well. Uh, we have been struggling uh, to achieve uh, these uh, uh, objectives. So uh, proposing uh, products to be used by customers will not suffice. We have to be close to the customers. We have to understand uh, what uh, the uh, challenges uh, besetting the customers are. And uh, we must work together with our customers uh, to uh, derive uh, solutions. It's been uh, two or three years now uh, that uh, we have uh, been able to uh, gain some uh, track record. But before that, uh, we were practically uh, groping in the dark. But currently, uh, we have a good response from the customers. Uh, today, uh, we, you will be hearing from uh, Mr. Higashi Hara. He is the um, president and COO. He will be giving uh, specific details uh, about uh, our progress. I would also like to mention uh, that uh, uh, we have the intention of uh, conducting this in the United States as well. Uh, Hitachi Innovation uh, uh, Conference uh, in uh, Las Vegas uh, was uh, implemented as well. I understand some of you have uh, attended this as well. So uh, we uh, we have been uh, holding these uh, forums uh, so that we can discuss uh, uh, issues uh, together with the, our clients and customers. So the challenges uh, will be reported uh, uh, by Mr. Higashihara, as well as uh, the um, achievements that we have made. 
Mr. Higashihara has become the president and CEO uh, one year ago. Uh, during this time, he has been taking on this major challenge. Therefore, uh, in the beginning, uh, some people were asking what, what, how we were, are allocating re responsibilities. But uh, as we have mentioned, um, since we're going to be taking on such an important challenge, uh, two uh, people at the helm uh, will not suffice. But at any rate, uh, I would like to work with him. Uh, very hard uh, to uh, achieve the objectives of 2015. And in fact, Mr. Higashihara is leading the effort uh, to achieve our objectives in uh, 2015. So I hope that uh, we can communicate uh, to you uh, our objectives uh, today. Uh, next, I would like to ask uh, Mr. Higashihara to come forward to talk about uh, the progress made uh, in the 2015 uh, midterm management plan. Hello, everyone. It is my great pleasure to talk about uh, the uh, progress and uh, prospects uh, of the 2015 midterm management plan. Uh, this is the table of contents of what I wish to cover. Now, as you know, uh, the 2015 uh, midterm management plan uh, is uh, to uh, realize uh, uh, Hitachi, uh, growth and Hitachi's transformation. Uh, there are three key words, uh, innovation, global, and uh, transformation. Uh, we have been uh, emphasizing uh, providing products, but uh, going forward, uh, we want to uh, enhance our service uh, business as well. Uh, in the global context, uh, businesses uh, will become globalized. Uh, we want to establish uh, our management uh, foundation uh, that is agile uh, to meet the changing environment. And now I would like to review uh, the progress made uh, uh, in fiscal year 2014. Uh, please look at the details here. Uh, Mr. Nakamura, the CFO, I will give uh, details later. Uh, I'd just like to highlight the major points. Uh, in terms of revenues, uh, was uh, uh, 9,761.9 billion yen. Operating income, uh, 600.4 billion yen. EBIT, 551.0 billion yen. Now, in terms of uh, uh, net income, uh, we have uh, two breakdowns. Uh, we have broken down between the continuing business and non-continuing uh, uh, business. Uh, regarding uh, the non-continuing uh, operations uh, is the following. Uh, February of, uh, in February, uh, we have established a joint venture with MHI for thermal power uh, generation. On the part of uh, MHI, the uh, projects uh, uh, there were some that uh, were uh, completed uh, by them. And for these uh, half-completed uh, uh, thermal power projects uh, have uh, been pursued by uh, Hitachi. And uh, this has been now uh, posted as discontinued or non-continuing operations. Going back to 2013, uh, we will uh, post that uh, for 13, 14, and 15 uh, for your uh, understanding. Now, uh, against this backdrop, I'd like to talk about uh, how revenues and operating income have been pursuing. Uh, the uh, oval shows the uh, s sales um, compared to uh, 2012, and uh, 2015 is 110 uh, because of the thermal power generation uh, integration, and uh, uh, they have also uh, some equity method uh, affiliate company posting difference. But it is growing steadily. And in terms of operating income, on the other hand, uh, it is uh, growing at more than 10%. Uh, therefore, our earning power uh, is uh, increasing uh, in a steadfast manner. Uh, against this backdrop, let me review 2014. Uh, we have uh, uh, increased our profitability. Furthermore, uh, we have been able to expand the global business, uh, particularly uh, in North America. We have seen significant progress in North America. As Mr. Nakanishi has already mentioned today, uh, we have been able to expand uh, the social innovation business, and uh, the concept uh, has been clarified. There are still challenges, uh, but uh, the, we have been able to strengthen the frontline capabilities, working with the customers uh, so that uh, we can work in collaboration with our customers. I think uh, we have achieved a, a significant uh, uh, results here. On the other hand, uh, we have uh, implemented business structure reforms, uh, for example, in globally. 
uh, global uh, grading has been uh, conducted, uh, the positioning has been clarified for individuals, the job uh, uh, substance has been uh, placed in a database. By so doing, uh, in terms of uh, IT, uh, we have uh, captured uh, um, businesses that have been closer, and uh, we have also externalized some as well. About at any rate, uh, we have uh, been uh, implementing business structure reforms according to the changing environment. Uh, IT platform, uh, servers, uh, network uh, reform is further necessary. And in terms of uh, the T and D equip, uh, uh, equipment business, uh, we have to do more. Furthermore, in terms of uh, cash uh, generating capability, we have been pursuing uh, a smart transformation. We have been able to reduce the uh, cost. But in terms of cash generating capabilities, uh, uh, there is still improvement uh, that must be made. For discontinued business or non continuing business, I mentioned the thermal power generation uh, system business. Uh, there are some that remain in touch without transfer. Uh, 16 units and uh, European are included. And for 13 units, uh, it has uh, run its course in the 2014. Uh, transfer has been made. So there are just three units uh, remaining until uh, to be uh, transferred by uh, September of 2015. But uh, most of the measures uh, have uh, run its course. And uh, therefore, uh, we have posted a net loss of 52.7 billion yen. And in this way, uh, we have clarified the uh, discontinued or non-continuing business to the outside. So uh, business structure reforms as well as cash generation uh, will be further emphasized. In terms of uh, IT platform business, uh, the carriers are reducing uh, investment. Uh, the Therefore, we are reallocating people to IoT areas, but there has been a slight delay uh, in terms of uh, T&D business. Uh, the price competition in the market uh, was very fierce, uh, but uh, we have to. There was a delay uh, in terms of uh, uh, cost reduction as well as supply chain. And uh, uh, that is the reason why uh, we have uh, posted uh, uh, loss in the first half uh, so that uh, we can make improvements in the second half. Now, uh, as of the 1st of October uh, uh, last year, uh, we have uh, decided to change trans um, trans uh, um, the smart transformation by um, improving uh, cash generation. We have made improvements uh, um, as a result. However, uh, we must further improve uh, the uh, CCC cash conversion cycle, which means uh, that uh, we need uh, more visualization and uh, process improvement uh, will be required. Now, in terms of the execution uh, of uh, the midterm business plan, we have some KPIs. Uh, global business uh, expansion, or the ratio of uh, overseas revenues to, to be over 50%. Uh, that was a target. Uh, I believe uh, this is achievable. Uh, in terms of the service uh, uh, revenues ratio, uh, the target was over 40%. Uh, current uh, uh, forecast is 38%, uh, just behind uh, the uh, target. Uh, but uh, we will continue to work towards achieving 40 uh, percent. Cost reductions through the Smart Transformation Project, uh, the uh, target uh, was 400 billion over the three years. And uh, it is likely that uh, we can reach uh, 420 billion yen. Uh, however, the price competition in the market is very difficult. Uh, therefore, it isn't as if we can uh, post all this uh, in profit. Uh, in order to uh, win uh, the price competition, uh, this is a level of cost reduction that must be achieved. Uh, next, uh, let me look at uh, the global business. As you can see here, uh, China, uh, the new normal uh, is talked about. The GDP growth is around uh, 7 percent. However, as mentioned here, uh, we wish uh, to uh, grow revenues uh, at by 7.5 percent. Uh, North America, on the other hand, uh, World Bank has been acquired. Uh, uh, therefore, we hope that the uh, growth uh, can be uh, achieving the level of 16.2 percent. 
And therefore, from region to region, uh, we are going to be managing uh, revenues as well as uh, earnings. Uh, let me talk about uh, what we have achieved so far in fiscal year 2014. Uh, in the area of uh, uh, financial business, inclusive of China, uh, ATM uh, uh, sales increase has been achieved uh, uh, on, in a significant way. Uh, but uh, what the customers are requiring now is payment service. Not just uh, purchasing uh, ADM uh, equipment or product alone, but the payment services uh, is also required as a solution. That is the reason why we acquired uh, our company in India. Uh, in centering in uh, the UK, uh, we have received many orders uh, for rolling stock, uh, uh, especially for the 8200 uh, uh, standardized uh, product. Uh, this is a major achievement for us. Uh, we also have uh, uh, the Christina uh, energy storage system. Uh, we have started uh, the demonstration project uh, in North America. Uh, the U.S. Uh, grid uh, is uh, uh, becoming obsolete. Uh, therefore, for stabilization, we can make a contribution. In terms of the auto uh, area, uh, there is uh, increasing growth uh, in the demand in North America. Uh, while Baca uh, is uh, a company that we have acquired uh, uh, for this purpose. As a result, I would like to talk about uh, the measures uh, for fiscal year uh, 2015. We are focused on uh, big data and uh, IT. Uh, we are seeing growth in the United States. And that is the reason why uh, we acquired uh, a Pentaho Corporation uh, uh, that is strong uh, in this area uh, in terms of analytics. Uh, in the IoT market, uh, we will continue to uh, pioneer markets. and. Uh, IoT solutions uh, will be developed. This is not uh, just uh, a platform for uh, information telecommunication platform, but it can be rolled out uh, in energy as well as healthcare and uh, infrastructure as well. So uh, comprehensively across the board, uh, uh, we can uh, provide uh, such a uh, product. Now, uh, next is a uh, service in 2014, as you can see here, uh, on a remote basis, uh, using the cloud, uh, maintenance service uh, uh, has been provided. Uh, business process uh, outsourcing has been a major uh, focus as well. Uh, going forward, uh, uh, we would like to expand uh, the long-term fee service business, such as train and energy, uh, providing uh, maintenance services. As I mentioned earlier, utilizing uh, IT analytics, uh, big data uh, analysis. Uh, will be uh, brought to bear so that uh, we can collaborate with customers to create the new business uh, and grow the service uh, uh, business that we can offer. Let me give you one example on the part of uh, the Hitachi Group. Our assets uh, can be connected by IT and smart uh, logistics uh, can be uh, realized. This is an example in China. Uh, procurement ETI service can be provided. And receiving this, uh, Hitachi High Tech, uh, High Technologies as well as Hitachi Capital uh, can provide uh, procurement services. Uh, furthermore, logistic services uh, can be provided uh, by Hitachi uh, Transport uh, System using uh, truck uh, transport. And uh, altogether, it uh, can be provided a solution as uh, smart uh, logistics uh, to our customers. We can utilize it. We have already utilized this uh, in the Hitachi Group, uh, which will serve as a demonstration. And after that, uh, we would like to provide this service to our customers as well. Next is about cash flow, smart transformation project. Up to 2014, 400 billion yen uh, was the target, but now we have a good prospect of achieving 420 billion. We have a we are in good shape to reduce costs. But in terms of cash, cash conversion cycle 
in manufacturing and services and others compared to the last year is on par with the previous year. It did not improve because of foreign exchange and waupaka acquisition and other factors. But we need to make more improvements. So as you see here, fiscal year 2015, profit and cash expansion will be the target. So the uh, cost of goods sold and SG&A will be improved by 100 billion yen, and cash convergence cycle will be five-day reduction in amount 130 billion yen. This is the achievement we would like to achieve, improvement we want to achieve. How to reduce costs in the value chain is the key, as you see on the left side. Strategically, strategic procurement. Procurement is important. So going forward, the cost reduction overseas is important. Because yen is depreciating, overseas procurement is going to be the key. And SG&A, we want business process to be rationalized as much as possible and do business process outsourcing, BPO, as much as possible, and reduce the personnel cost. So that is what we will promote. Cash conversion cycle, inventory assets is a problem. So how to visualize and reduce this is the key, it's especially in case of Hitachi. In the fourth quarter, we tend to post big, pro big sales in fourth quarter. And so this has a big impact. So monitoring is very important. So we will do a good monitoring and also try to uh, control the cash in inflow and outflow. Factoring will be utilized and use IT to visualize. And, and we all ha uh, to have a good uh, mindset, all members to have a good mindset to improve cash conversion cycle. Now. Let me talk about social innovation business, our future effort. A big direction in this business. As Chairman Nakanishi said, we would like to work with the customer from the customer-oriented approach and identify problems and create business. So front line, front engineering or sales, marketing, uh, the resource will be concentrated on frontline like healthcare and energy and, and financials, financial segment. So we want to be close to the customers and focus our resource, people, closer to the customer. And the regions are U.S. and China. Uh, these frontline in U.S. and China and other regions will be reinforced. At the same time, as you see in the center, analytics control function. Platform development is important. Platform is not just for information and telecommunication or financial institutions or a social uh, and public sector. For power and energy, all groups. It has to be for the entire Hitachi group, especially big data analysis, pentaho, uh, so big data analysis and cloud computing. This has to be cross-functional for the entire Hitachi group. Now, product, industrial equipment, or information, uh, or service, uh, these have to be provided to the entire Hitachi group. We want to establish such a framework. So towards that direction, we are trying to run the global management. As of April 1st, we have four region, uh, four region chief executive in four regions. In the U.S., Jack Dume will be the leader to promote the social innovation business. So four regions will promote social innovation. So we will reinforce the front engineering and R&D. We did an IR roadshow the other day. R&D will be into three groups. One is social innovation global center. So conduct incubation with the customers. And next is center for technology innovation. Uh, so the deliverable will be uh, commercialized or put into product. 
and the Center for Exploratory Research. We will divide into three centers so that frontline uh, social innovation global center, we will have a global base so that we can collaborate with the customers to conduct incubation. So this is the team that will uh, be active going forward. At the same time, we need to identify uh, problems with customers. We need tools to identify customers and proof of concept, POC. If we do POC every time, it will be too uh, much time. So proof of concept. We developed cyber POC. We want to utilize the cyber POC so that we can save time for solar energy and battery will be installed so that uh, energy consumption can be reduced. How can the operating cost and the investment efficiency be realized? We will do a simulation and see if it, is, it makes sense, if the investment will pay off. So the computer simulation uh, will calculate the capex and opex. So we came up with this tool. And if once this becomes a business, we can start this business on a more full scale. So that is what we are working on right now. Now we will be close to the customers to create solutions. From April 1st, Shitachi Solutions, 4,000 people are put to the front line, finance or public or social innovation, social infrastructure, and for my number, the national identification number, to deal with that, the front line personnel will take an important role. Since last year, healthcare company and energy solutions companies were established so that we can reinforce the front line. Front line is stronger now. In terms of the collaboration with customers, Sunway Group, Malaysia company, uh, uh, the uh, energy saving project uh, is now being pursued and business creation projects are now being produced, promoted with customers. In the energy area, in the U.S., Ancillary control of the voltage and the uh, frequency is being stabilized. Christina is now being provided. A storage battery system is being provided. And uh, the re deregulation of power is going to start. So system of organization for cross-regional co coordination of transmission operators is being developed. We want to complete this so that we can contribute to the deregulation of the electricity market. Renewable energy, wind. Five megawatt is now being launched. We want to expand this more. <coughs> now, industrial equipment. As of May 1st, industrial products business or company is now being established. Hitachi had infrastructure and the power and industrial equipment. All these were independent in production and the sales channel. But industrial products will be reinforced going forward. So industrial product company will integrate the function. Uh, the sales channel and the production basis will be integrated and centralized. 2015, 380 billion, and 2018, we want to exceed 500 billion yen. So as I explained, Portfolio is being reviewed, including M&A. We are putting things in perspective. So strengthening the frontline function, I mentioned Prism Payment Service Acquisition and Stone Apple. This is a frontline ERP, ERP team. A company was acquired. So an analytics, Pentaho Data Analytics is being reinforced. And product services, Ansaldo Breda and Ansaldo SDS, the railway business uh, Waupaka from acquisition from Waupaka and acquisition of Waupaka. So the left side is what we will do by ourselves the, to reinforce our function. But joint venture and product service, we need joint venture and alliance to strengthen services and products. So we're doing high voltage DC power transmission with ABB and, uh, and thermal power generation system with MHI and air conditioning system business with Johnson Controls. So through these joint ventures, we will reinforce products. Hitachi will be on the front line and utilize these products 
and co cooperate and uh, cooperate with customers to have a win-win situation. That is our mission of Hitachi. And that is social innovation business as we see it. Next, please. So 2014 to 2015, we have this balloon chart. And so we want to achieve 10% and move towards the right. And to drive the growth, we want to go up in this chart. So this is the key of each segment. So we will take a good look at this and expand our business. So as I explained, now fifth school year 2015, our current outlook is 9.9 .9 trillion yen, EBIT 6.6, uh, uh, and operating profit 6.7, and net income 330 billion. We have not achieved the initial target. How we can accumulate our numbers towards 2015 so that we can achieve the initial target is up to our efforts going forward. So Hitachi will base ourselves on social innovation to expand our business globally. Quality of life, improving quality of life of the people. This is our mission. This is our objective. And transform ourselves towards that goal. Thank you very much. I ask you for your further support. Thank you. We would now like to open the floor for questions and answers. Uh, please uh, uh, raise your hand if you have any questions and uh, wait for the microphone to be brought to you and state your name and affiliation. Question. I have three questions. First question is as follows. In terms of uh, business structural uh, expenses, uh, 50 billion, what is the breakdown? What are you intending to do? Uh, what is the cash outflow? Uh, please uh, elaborate as much as possible. Second question is regarding the uh, railway business uh, acquisition. No, uh, the, uh, did the risk uh, before acquisition uh, maintained, uh, but in terms of power system, it, the thermal uh, business uh, could be uh, positioned uh, separately, but uh, I would like to know how uh, risk uh, is being maintained. Third question is as follows. For 2014 uh, performance, looking back on the performance, it seems uh, that the business pursued by uh, Hitachi, the parent company, uh, was uh, uh, struggling. Uh, for example, uh, the telecommunications as well as IT. Uh, it seems that uh, you underperformed. That is my impression. So uh, your own business uh, at Hitachi uh, was not controlled well, or you were not able to foresee uh, the future fully. On the part of management, uh, what is your evaluation of this situation? And please talk about the IBM's current situation. And uh, GE is now uh, going to exit uh, from the financial business. Uh, this is something that was not contemplated five years ago. Uh, but uh, these changes are occurring uh, in the environment. Would you have to deal with this matter in a more tighter context? Uh, please elaborate uh, your intentions going forward. Answer. Regarding the 50 billion uh, breakdown for uh, business structure uh, reform expenses. Now, as for this 50 billion, uh, it may, it's mainly asset uh, disposal and uh, also transfer of people. In terms of uh, information telecommunication uh, routers and um, telecommunication equipment and uh, servers uh, where area people have been working, but uh, the revenue is going to be reduced to half. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, we need to shift people to IoT and uh, other new areas. Uh, in uh, making this shift, uh, a cost uh, will be incurred. And that will be to the tune of 35 billion. And the remaining 15 billion 
uh, is for the disposal of assets. This is not just limited to information to location, uh, but uh, also power systems uh, as uh, well. Uh, these are the uh, the macro reasons why uh, this is the case. Now, regarding the railway business, originally for Ansaldo Breda, uh, performance uh, was uh, struggling, and we had to acquire this business nevertheless. Uh, therefore, uh, we have uh, gone through a rigorous uh, due diligence uh, in this regard. After agreement uh, was concluded, uh, we also had due diligence before that as well. And in fact, uh, the deal has not closed fully yet. Uh, it isn't as if everything is clear yet. Uh, but. According to what we have discussed with the management on their side, uh, it seems that uh, most of the risks have been uh, resolved, have been uh, taken care of. And as mentioned by Mr. Higashihara, uh, uh, inclusive of the orders received in the UK, we need more capacity. And therefore, if anything, we believe that this is a very good acquisition for us. The project risk in the past has run its course, and now we are poised uh, to increase uh, uh, production. That is our current assessment. Uh, therefore, uh, we are confident uh, that uh, we can manage the risks. Uh, in fact, uh, last week I visited Italy, and I met with the CEO of uh, Finmeca. And uh, I also uh, met with uh, uh, other uh, authorities as well. And uh, my evaluation is that we made a very good purchase for thermal power risk uh, was uh, given uh, in the first place. And how we are going to dispose of, although there are challenges remaining, in terms of the management outlook, has been decided. That is the reason why we have uh, implemented this measure uh, at this time. So this was something that was expected. And now uh, we have uh, become ready to disclose to the outside. Now, uh, the next item, uh, Hitachi uh, parent company uh, is struggling, as you mentioned, especially because of uh, the, the power system, uh, the thermal power uh, and dealing with this issue uh, was uh, more than expected. It is exactly as you have uh, pointed out. To foresee this uh, is beforehand uh, is uh, very important. Uh, therefore, I am cognizant uh, of the fact that uh, there are many issues that may arise. A question, once again. Uh, inclusive of information telecommunication uh, regarding speed in terms of uh, business structure reforms. Sorry, this is the answer. We believe uh, we didn't think uh, that the, uh, we didn't think that the world is going to be so changing so fast. Uh, therefore, there is a there has been a reflection on our part. Uh, we have to be more proactive uh, in terms of business structure reforms. Uh, under normal times, uh, we should always take into consideration the risk going forward. That is the approach uh, that uh, is required. And. In the 2014 uh, review, I mentioned that uh, there was a lack of speed. Uh, so that concludes the response. Any other questions? Question. First question is your target of operating profit margin. This time you revised downward. It, it's small, but a little over 7 percent. I think you have uh, you have worked very hard to achieve this over 7 percent. Why did you revise this downward this time? In the board meeting, I'm sure there were some oppositions. If you could give us some detail, what, how, what led you to re revise this downward? Answer. As far as I'm concerned, as we showed you this number, the uh, 
gradient of the operating profit margin is improving. So it is not that we have given up on this exceeding 7% OPM. However, if we need to give you a forecast at this point in time, various reforms are underway and many other elements come into play. So we need to look at the risk and scrutinize the situation. So at this point in time, it is in the six percentage between 6 to 7 percent. But I understand that we are in the growth track. And so one year later, the number one year later is uh, what I would like to work more on to achieve good results. Question. It's not really 7 percent, is it? Uh, answer. We need to think of this in the scenario of how to come close to double digit. So there are many more things we have to do. That's what I feel. So the gradient is upward, trending upward. But given the hurdle to overcome, the leaders of each business segment uh, are determined. And that is why we are now on the conservative side. Question. So in 2010, uh, you said, uh, 10%. Uh, you haven't given up? A answer. Uh, it's, it's not something we have externally uh, announced formally. We are in the transitional period. So for 7%, we are not uh, giving up. We're going to continue. Maybe next year, we will, of course, aim for double digit question about the realignment of the heavy industries. Bombardia of Canada have uh, talked about the selling of uh, studying the selling of the railway business. So industry realignment or uh, consolidation is now still active. How do you view this trend? Answer. It's a very sensitive matter. So I cannot talk about our thinking very clearly, but when it comes to railway business, the market is globalized and a railway business is now drawing attention again. That is true. On the other hand, China is now being more serious and the South Company and North Company, South Norway, North Railway and South Railway are integrated. Uh, so that they can go into the global market. China market uh, is two to three, three, to three trillion yen revenue. And in terms of cost competitiveness, uh, they are a big threat. So in this big picture, that is a negative factor. But the, in order to deal with such cost factor, we have to uh, face the consolidation and the bombardia I think they also have to think about their aircrafts. And so that is why they're thinking of what they're thinking. Consolidation is possible, we think. We expected this. And so Ansaldo uh, was decided this time. And Italy, Italian government is supporting us very strongly. They have issued a statement to support us. So this global expansion. but. Volume is now tilted to Japan and UK. So next target is Italy and then Ger Germany and France. Uh, Siemens, Nalstrom are there, so it's difficult. Africa, India. We want to expand globally. Question. Chairman Nakanishi, Bombardier Railway, Do are you interested at all? Or what do you mean by interest or... Answer. I know what the company is. I know the company well. Thank you. Next question, please. Uh, question. I have three questions. Uh, first of all, regarding uh, business structure reform, uh, you mentioned uh, that uh, 
Well, I would like to know what is the positioning of hardware business uh, going forward. Uh, in terms of uh, integrated platform, uh, it has been consolidated into solutions uh, uh, in the past, uh, but uh, uh, it seems that the scale is going to be halved uh, according to your explanation. So are you going to maintain the hardware and uh, aim for half? Uh, what uh, is the ideal structure for you in the future? Second, uh, in terms of uh, front engineering, uh, you are strengthening efforts uh, in this area. Uh, group uh, system is included, uh, key accounts have been identified. Uh, so providing solutions where IT can be brought to bear has been emphasized. How much progress have you made so far? You said that you have a good feeling, uh, but uh, how much results have been achieved so far? And uh, inclusive of the regional system, how are you going to accelerate uh, the business going forward, uh, uh, taking into consideration the changing environment? Question three, regarding cash flow. Uh, you mentioned that you'd like to generate more cash flow. And then uh, what do, will you do with the cash generated? Uh, is it going to be preemptive investment? And uh, M&A will be pursued, I sh I'm sure. And beyond that, uh, how are you going to change the uh, the financial structure of your company as well as uh, returning benefits to the shareholders? Please talk about the balance thereof. Answer. Let me talk about the uh, business structure reforms first. As Higashihara-san has already mentioned, uh, the hardware uh, is uh, in terms of the IT environment. Uh, and uh, for those that are becoming commodities, uh, we don't think uh, that uh, Hitachi should uh, uh, maintain this uh, uh, thoroughly. That is not the case. Uh, but uh, storage has synergy effects. Uh, and uh, in terms of network equipment, uh, there is high functioning uh, equipment as well. Most of it is becoming software. Uh, but uh, we need to make uh, further investments uh, in this area. And uh, we need to have a platform uh, which is unified uh, uh, for Hitachi. Uh, overall, we need a Hitachi brand uh, platform. That is uh, uh, the emphasis uh, for us going forward. In terms of the industrial products uh, mentioned earlier, on our part, uh, we need to have products uh, that are globally uh, competitive, and we will uh, select which products uh, where we can be competitive and uh, we will nurture these uh, products. So these are the positive uh, uh, initiatives. Uh, and otherwise, uh, we will look for exit. So we will highlight and shadow. Now, in terms of uh, solution business, there are many aspects to this. And it just so happens uh, that uh, two weeks ago, uh, when we had the forum in the United States for certain areas, uh, customers uh, showed interest uh, uh, in terms of what they would like to do with us specifically. Uh, but uh, so far, we have been providing solutions from Japan. And if we do this globally, we will not be able to manage all of this. Uh, therefore, uh, we have to have a control tower in the United States, and they should manage uh, uh, this business and make uh, uh, decisions uh, in terms of investment as well. In fact, we have already set up such a framework. I would also like to add uh, that uh, the uh, front line uh, resources must be strengthened. Because there is a limit uh, to what uh, can be resolved by mountain power, uh, that is the reason why we would like to establish a platform. A pentaho has the analytics uh, for big data. We have acquired this company. We want to make sure that uh, the Hitachi Group can capitalize uh, uh, on this uh, overall. So educate and also nurture the front line uh, people so that uh, we can collaborate uh, with our customers. We would like to set up uh, such an organization as quickly as possible. No, uh, there are many uh, examples in mining as well as manufacturing. So there is a significant interest uh, from various uh, client, uh, customers. So the response has been very good. And in fact, a specific business has been brought to bear. Uh, it is uh, also reflecting numbers. It isn't to the tunes of tens of billions yet, but uh, we are seeing steadfast uh, results. 
But uh, there is a limit uh, uh, with respect to what we can do uh, by Hitachi alone. We have to collaborate uh, with partners and with customers. Uh, we have to provide this linkage. Um, to involve the stakeholders, uh, to uh, share the platform, and to uh, grow the business. That is what we have to do. Uh, this is uh, akin to open innovation. We have to proactively pursue this. Innovation uh, cannot be done by us alone. Uh, we need to uh, have an open environment uh, inclusive of partners as well as customers. Uh, this is the most steadfast effort, uh, uh, steadfast method uh, in achieving uh, innovation. Uh, please talk about uh, how you're going to use cash. Now, in terms of manufacturing and service, uh, we have uh, generated to the tune of 100 billion, but that is not enough. Uh, inclusive of M&A, uh, the numbers are becoming larger. In terms of uh, cash at hand, uh, I would like to increase uh, by another digit uh, regarding cash at hand. Now, in terms of how can we can utilize this in the, mo the, the best way, uh, it's not so much an issue. Uh, there, there is more emphasis on the shortage thereof. So on the part of management, uh, uh, we are very keen uh, in terms of generating cash. Uh, that is the reason why I'm communicating to you and also communicating internally as well. As I mentioned, uh, in terms of uh, the uh, direction of social infrastructure, business has become clear. Uh, therefore, for Hitachi Group overall, uh, the front line, uh, the platform, as well as product uh, vision is now clear to us. Uh, therefore, uh, against this backdrop, uh, how we are going to spend money, uh, use cash, uh, should be subject to uh, further discussions. And based on that, uh, we will consider a dividend payment as well. Question. Structural reform and your growth strategy that you explained today is now progressing steadily, and Hitachi is now uh, going to become one of the most uh, top-notch company in this field. However, 2015 uh, a share price is below average, so maybe the stock market is starting to feel the limit of Hitachi's growth potentiality. Share price, this is something that is determined by the market, maybe. But if that's the case, a share price movement, moving like this. And maybe we expected out of Hitachi too much, or maybe there is a big change coming up, which we have not noticed. Uh, so CEO, COO, I would like you to uh, to give us some message for the market. Answer. Regarding share price, third quarter of 2014, when we announced the result for Q3, the share price dropped. So your high expectation. Well, if I say I'm say this, I'm going to be scolded. I did not announce bad numbers, but maybe there was a big gap between the result and your expectation. We felt that. So the performance that we can deliver should be put, uh, carried out solidly. And to be able to see the trend going forward is important. So our medium-term plan, 2015, forecast is based on such discussion, good discussion. And that's how we came up with numbers. Maybe compared to your expectation, you want a clearer forecast. And I agree with you. But today, social innovation business prospect was explained today. But how this will be uh, reflected into profit, uh, this is something we will clarify in our future announcement, result announcements. Next question, please. A question. 
I have three questions. Having entered this year, or from the end of uh, last year, uh, there have been a, a rapid drop uh, uh, in the crude oil prices, uh, and the uh, Chinese economy has uh, been slowing down. Uh, you have talked about the, uh, the uh, uh, machine tools uh, uh, areas as well. It seems that uh, Komatsu is also struggling as well. Compared to three or four years ago, uh, the global uh, business uh, environment uh, is uh, undergoing significant change. So how do you uh, evaluate uh, this changing environment on the part of the CEO and CEO? And uh, against this backdrop, uh, how are you going to um, pursue business? Uh, how do you uh, evaluate the risks and opportunities? Second, now in terms of smart transformation, uh, for real, it's easy to understand. But for auto, there's uh, ADAS. Industrial uh, Internet uh, or IoT. Uh, it seems that uh, in the area of a uh, network or, or in terms of IoT layer uh, for parts and components, uh, wearable is not uh, an area that you are active in, but uh, uh, what the network connecting to the Internet uh, seems to be very strong. Uh, the very um, uh, upstream analytics, uh, big data is also included. But in terms of IoT, specifically, uh, what is going to be your focus for IoT, for industrial products, the uh, uh, company has mentioned? What are the areas you would like to focus on? Please be more specific uh, f so that I, even a monkey can understand. That's my second question. Third question. Last year, uh, we discussed uh, uh, this year's uh, uh, target. Uh, we started off with 560 million, and uh, it didn't uh, add uh, 600 billion. And you said that you have not given up. Uh, uh, if anything, uh, do you have any confidence? What is the level of confidence in terms of uh, further incremental growth? You said that 2018 is not yet. Yeah, but uh, what is your view for 2018? Uh, double digit uh, is our expectation. So please uh, uh, talk about your uh, intention toward 2018. Can you achieve a double digit? Answer. Uh, the world around us is changing significantly, very fast. Uh, oil prices last year uh, was around uh, 40 to 50. Uh, no, no one was expecting 40 or 50 dollars. Uh, so we are uh, impacted uh, by the changes in the environment. Uh, there is a uh, uh, significant uncertainty. As uh, Mr. Higashiara has mentioned, uh, in terms of management speed, uh, we need something. We don't have anything more than that. So uh, we need to act with speed. By so doing, uh, we can change uh, these changes into opportunities. Uh, for example, in terms of uh, uh, mineral uh, resources, uh, uh, the uh, price is uh, declining, uh, and therefore uh, they, the industry is looking for uh, increasing efficiency. And uh, therefore, investment uh, is now looking toward uh, rationalization. And uh, we have to make sure that uh, we are able to meet uh, this need. And this is one of uh, the successful uh, cases for us. Uh, in the case of China, a new normal uh, has been achieved. This is not just, uh, we should not just look at uh, the growth rate, but rather the commodity mass production uh, has been driving growth uh, in the past, uh, but the uh, uh, value added uh, is now the focus, uh, which means that uh, new competitors will emerge. Uh, but uh, by uh, collaborating, uh, we may be able to find uh, seeds for uh, uh, significant business uh, for the future. This is what we need to do. Uh, in terms of uh, the uh, deployment of a social innovation business, uh, we don't want to sell just products. We want to uh, expeditiously uh, meet uh, the needs of the changing environment. Um, it is true for us as well as for customers as well. 
And the way forward to achieve this uh, is social innovation. So uh, we should be able to provide the solutions uh, when customers realize the need uh, for uh, changes. That is what the social innovation is all about. So uh, in, it's not just a matter of uh, um, of uh, uh, developing chips uh, for terminals, uh, but uh, how it can be used for uh, big data is going to be very important. Uh, so that is the type of activity uh, that uh, we have to pursue. Uh, that uh, is what the social innovation business is all about. For example, in the past, we were not very strong uh, in the oil and gas area. But we can make improvements. Uh, railway is more easy to understand. I was also involved in this business. But in the area of uh, finance, there is not so much machinery. But a cash management, uh, can also become a base of uh, major solutions uh, depending on countries. I would also like to add about change and the speed. What is important is that on uh, the 1st of uh, April, we have uh, identified the regional chief uh, executives uh, uh, for the front uh, line. And uh, their sensitivities uh, must uh, be brought to bear as well. And uh, so we have to look locally as well as um, globally as well in making uh, decisions. And that is the reason why um, beyond Japan uh, we have uh, identified regional chiefs uh, in four uh, regions uh, so that uh, we can have a comprehensive uh, approach. I believe that uh, this will be very useful in increasing the speed. In terms of social innovation business, uh, we have uh, talked about IoT business. Industrial internet is another way to express this. Uh, we must collaborate together and uh, pursue open innovation. We should not do this uh, on an exclusive basis. Uh, we would like to reach out to others as well. Now, regarding the uh, 560 billion, and uh, you've talked about uh, our confidence level, I can only say that I'll do my best. In the uh, 2015, uh, midterm management plan is just a transition point. What is more important uh, is uh, to uh, implement change uh, in Hitachi as well as uh, uh, enhancing our staying power. It's not just numbers. Numbers are important, uh, but uh, strengthening our staying power or the, uh, the strength of the group is going to be important. That will be our important focus. What about the 2018? 2018, uh, we are going to formulate a plan um, with significant efforts. Time has passed, so we would like to take my, our last question. Question. Just one question. Uh, for the market structural change, uh, your profitability change, uh, how can your profitability change in the long term perspective? IT service industry and social infrastructure markets are now changing structurally. So uh, your structural reform cost is being increased, and this may reduce benefit, uh, produce benefit in the short term. But in the long term, only God can know. So in the long term, your nuclear power business, which is small now, for example, selling this to Toshiba, and instead. Japanese. There are many IT service companies in Japan, so acquiring IT service company instead uh, and to promote consolidation in Japan to become a top player in the world. Such bold management strategy from a long-term perspective. This is only a possibility, so we cannot say anything definitive, but is this something that you can consider? Unless you consider such things, uh, when market changes, you may not become a winner in the world. So 
uh, 10 or 20 years later, I don't know. Uh, if you could share with us your view a uh, decade or two later. Answer. I agree with you 100 percent. The industry structure in Japan, for example, banks. In the past, how many city banks were there? Uh, it's now consolidated into three mega banks, but we even feel like we need to do more. So this may have things to do with your workplace, so I cannot say too much, but I'm not going to specify any names, but this dynamism of the industrial structures is something that must be promoted, not five or ten years. We need to constantly forecast, anticipate, and and to commit to the business that we can be truly globally competitive. This is a big responsibility for two of us. So medium term and long term, that is what we constantly think about. So let me put it that way. We should not stick too much to Japan. So more globally. Japan coalition, I'm not going to deny that. But that is not what we will stick to. The most important thing is to be the com most competitive player in the world. Thank you. So with that, we would like to end the part one. Thank you very much.